In that scripture in Philippians, while you get uh, First Corinthians, the second chapter, in that scripture, it says, "Let this man be in you that was also in Christ Jesus." Uh, you really got to understand that uh, that he said that Jesus had all the power of God, uh, but did not take on that. He stuck to his human form and, and led by God. In other words. The word in the Greek is kenosis. He emptied himself of what he knew. And, and, and you would never get nothing from him. Uh, you know, I've had people, you know, tell other people in this ministry, Pastor can't teach me nothing. Nah, I, I know more than Pastor. I, 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 I. You know, like, like being some type of look. Y'all excuse the language, like being some little pissing contact. Ain't you no know, pissing contact with you, Negro. I'm not. I'm past that. I ain't trying to. This ain't no Sunday school where we. Trying to see who repeated for this. You know, that's Donald Trump. Go, 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 go to the White House, deal with him on that. That's stupid. They ain't trying to, man, I'm trying to impart something on you. They ain't trying to, you know, uh, you know, the gift of God is it's free, freely given, right? They ain't trying to come compete with you. Come on, man, that's crazy. I tell people, man, you know, and he can't teach me nothing. I don't know, I already know this stuff. That's when you ain't learn nothing. That's when I can't teach you nothing. You're right. I can't teach you nothing, you know. And, 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 and black men, for, for sure, and you got some hard head black women like that too, but you know, uh, that's for sure. And you know, I ain't never seen people in this ministry who can get degrees and act a fool. You don't never help me talk about my degrees. Your degrees ain't nothing compared to what God Tell has it. given right. a person who got revelation knowledge. Paul said that Paul said he could be so puffed up. That's not trying not to be. He said he could be so puffed up because of all the revelation God gave him, that God gave him authority in the flesh. You know. Now when have you ever heard somebody talking about bacon powder and you know the bacon powder talking about isolated case and then mix it up like that and y'all probably missed it? That's the Holy Ghost, man. Nothing but the Holy Ghost man can give you that. Give you that revelation. Give you isolated case and tell you, look here, you gotta mix it up. Man, that was that was that was deep. You'll get it when I'm gone and dead. Right. You'll get it when I'm gone and dead. You know, yeah. but it's okay. You know. Uh, so, 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 so it said for, for, for watch what it says in second, first, second, second chapter 16 verse. For who had known the mind of the Lord that he may instruct him? Who know the mind of the Lord? Who well, watched it? But we have the mind of Christ. You have the mind of Christ. You have the mind of Christ. And it's good to have that mind because when you get in these isolated, bitter situations, God will speak to you. Let me give you an example. I was, I was telling God something. I don't, I don't remember quite so, so long. Say I'm quoting right a line. But I, I told God something. I, and, and, you know, it wasn't too good. I said, Lord, you know, why ain't you, why ain't you doing this? You know, in my mind. I said, it don't make sense. And, I didn't, and, and, and the Holy Ghost, if you allow, the Holy Ghost will make you check yourself when you're trying to rebuke God. And I said, Lord, you know, you need to do this, you know. And then, but the Holy Ghost don't want you to suffer hard of bitterness because you, 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 your petition and your request have not been granted to you. And it's easy for you if you haven't got to heal you and you ain't become ill, or you haven't got to do certain things, and you haven't got to deliver it. You know how we do our petition? We asking God to do so many things, and, it, and you don't see no, you don't see nothing of it, no resemblance of it, no manifestation of it, and then you get, you get bitter. Uh, well, I, I can't. Y'all don't do that. Right? You can get bitter. You can begin to say, Lord, wait a minute. Your heart get hard. You can get hard and say, Lord, shoot, why pray to you? You ain't answering me. Hey, y'all ain't no business. You, you can get hard. But the Holy Ghost, you got the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will check you. God will do what you said he wouldn't do and then, act, and then tell you, who are you that you can instruct me? me what I can't do. Uh, I didn't do it. Who are you? And then the Lord will show you sometime when he did it, you didn't know he did it. The Lord will the, the show you before you asked for it, it already was done. But listen, you so bad at being hard that you have missed it. And then the devil will put blinders on you. The Bible says because God will be here and he is on the law. And the God of this world has blinded their minds. So the devil like to blind our minds what we want here. 
Oh, all young people, this is good teaching. I know y'all so used to it. I know y'all so used to it, but you can't see the forest from the tree. I understand that. I understand that. But when you grow up, you're going to say, man, you know, I've heard this somewhere. If you hear it again, you say, I've heard this somewhere. You're going to be like some of people who I get, get calls from, like the lady yesterday. Get calls from people all down in Tennessee and all that. Said, Pastor, we really miss your teaching. Really miss, you know, our pastor died now, and we wish we had him down here. She was 17 years, we ain't heard from you. And I said, well, your pastor didn't invite me to, like my dad. My dad invited me down to do revival twice, sometimes three times a year. I said, he wouldn't even invite me, you know. And I could have helped him, but no, he didn't, he didn't want me down there, so God bless him. You know, now the church is dying, you know. I said, don't feel bad. It's so, like my church up here dying, you know, just, you know, we're going to recover. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I've, been, I've, I've seen it before. I've seen it before. I've seen it before. I've seen it before. This ain't nothing. You know, I'm just, I'm just telling her, you know, uh, what's going on. Right. Telling her, you know, don't be dismayed, but at the time, God will. God will recover. And, you know, I told her, where worry about it. You know, the Lord will recover, you know. Amen. I said, but your pastor got to pray. Your pastor got to do a lot of things besides the, doing what he's doing. You know, doing a lot of crazy stuff down there, the new pastor. So, so uh, you know, uh, and I was telling uh, Brother Calvin this, that some of y'all may not know. I was telling them that uh, a pastor in this day and time, and you get bitter about this, I said I was called to a church up in Hackensack, New Jersey, some time ago, not about 30, and uh, they called me there, and they had this, about 500 members, and they had this package for me. They had my health, retirement, life insurance, the whole package. And I think at that time, you know, in 1980, they like started me off with like, just the beginning, 650 a week, but everything, they paid everything. All they had to pay water bill, and maybe one cell phone bill. That's all they had to pay. So everything was free, besides those two things. That's a whole package, you know. And, Juice, and, and Brother Kevin said to me, he said, I didn't know pastor get packages like that. I said, oh man. I said, man, I'm getting tips, man. Them people got me. I said, man, that has packets for pastors. I said, you know, I said, you got churches here in Elgin. Give pastors whole package. You know, just like y'all do when y'all contract and stuff. Oh, man, church, give you a package, man. You got the right church. You know, you, you, you can go. But you said something to me that was real good. He was a pastor. If you didn't went to Hackensack, New Jersey, I probably wouldn't have been saved. Oh. Yeah. Here, if I could clean up my eyes, I said, wow, you're right. So I started looking at all the people in Cold Temple, and I told them the story. And, and you know, everybody in there said that I wouldn't have been your pastor if you were, you know. I, I wouldn't have been saved. So, 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 hey, man, God, because listen, listen, first of all, don't forget if I got a package, I'm hired. You know, it's certain things I don't have to do. You know. It's certain things that they got people already doing. Amen. Hello, y'all. And the whole staff. But first of all, my wife didn't want to go Baptist. You know? <laughs> now, I didn't wonder sometimes I make a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody said, no, Pastor, you made a mistake. No, I did not. I did not. Because many of y'all would not have been saved, and some of y'all, you know, would have been no.